Hello, this is James Hamilton speaking to you from a boat anchored amongst three of Scotland's over 900 offshore islands. Today I'm going to be inside with you talking about ARM servers and the Graviton 2 processor. As most of you know, ARM cores power most of the world's mobile devices, whether they be I iOS or Android. And as big as that collective market is, ARM's power vastly more embedded devices. For example, I use five ARM-powered Raspberry Pis for the control systems on this boat. And in fact, within, within 40 feet of me sitting here, you'll find ARM cores in the satellite communication system. In fact, multiple, there's three in there. The television, set-top box, Fire TV stick, Synology file server, eight video cameras, many pressure, voltage, fluid level, and temperature sensors. ARM processors literally are everywhere. This vast, vast, vast volume of ARM processors is particularly important in our industry because nothing drives low-cost economics better than volume. Nothing funds the R&D investment required to produce great server processors better than volume. Nothing builds dev tool ecosystems faster than volume. And it's volume that brings application developers. I started in this industry back in about 1986 working on mainframe ADA compilers. I subsequently spent years working on IBM DB2 hosted on Unix super servers and then moved to Microsoft SQL Server hosted on x86 processors. I joined Amazon Web Services a bit more than 11 years ago. Each of these progressive role changes was to a higher volume, faster growing platform. Each product had more happy customers and produced far more revenue than the previous. Betting on volume has treated me well over the years and as a consequence, more than a decade ago, I got super interested in ARM cores and using ARM cores and servers. At reInvent 2018, we launched the first generation ARM-based processors that power our EC2 A1 instance. Graviton was delivered with 45% lower costs for scale-out workloads. This was our first general purpose processor, but it was far from our first complex semiconductor part. Prior to Graviton, we'd done several generations of ASICs, application-specific integrated circuits that power the AWS Nitro system. These ASICs and the software that runs upon them are the EC2 crown jewels and part of what makes EC2 truly unique. It's also Nitro that allows us to quickly and securely support new AMD, Intel, and Graviton EC2 instance types quickly. Nitro is one of the reasons why we have, by far, the broadest range of instance types in the cloud computing industry. And Nitro is one of the ways we are investing deeply to ensure this means, remains true over time. Customers want EC2 instance types tailored to their unique application requirements. They don't want a one-size-fits-all. They want to own their box, and they don't want to be forced to pay an excessive virtualization tax. Nitro is a big part of how we make this happen. When we announced the original Graviton back in 2018, we were already at work on Graviton 2. It delivers 7x overall performance improvement over the V1 part, 4x increase in, in core count, twice the cache, and 5x the memory performance. It's reasonably complex part, but not out of line for processors at 30 billion transistors, and it's done in 7 nanometer. Since reInvent 2019, we have delivered three new EC2 instance types powered by Graviton 2. The general purpose M6G, the compute optimized C6G, and the memory optimized R6G. These new instance types are now generally available and deliver up to 40% better performance at 20% lower cost, resulting in 40% better price performance over comparable current generation x86 parts. This is a big step forward over our current instance types, and it's why we're leading with Graviton in, in the announcement of the sixth generation of EC2 instance types. Even I was slightly surprised by the Graviton performance, despite the fact that I was there on day one. I often joke that no system will ever be faster than the day it was first conceived. Hats off to the Annapurna team who designed Graviton. They are truly a joy to work with. Really amazing work. The new M6G, C6G, and R6G instances are each available in nine instance types and all include bare metal instance types. We have up to 64 cores, up to 25 gigabits per second of enhanced networking, and up to 19 gigabits per second of EBS storage bandwidth. These new instance types 
all use the AWS Nitro system that I mentioned earlier. Variants of the newly announced storage types will soon be available with fast, local, NVMe instant storage. Graviton 2 processors were designed with the goal of leading industry performance on a wide variety of workloads including application servers, microservices, high performance computing, machine learning inference, electronic design, automation, gaming, in-memory cache servers, and database servers. They cover the full spectrum of application requirements well and with industry-leading performance. With the launch of these instance types, we're happy to have strong support from a broad ecosystem of providers. In Linux distros, we have, of course, Amazon Linux 2, Ubuntu, Red Hat Enterprise, SUSE Enterprise, Fedora, Debian, FreeBSD. We also have the Open JDK supported by Amazon Coretto. In container services, we have ECR, e EKS, ECS, Docker, and Rancher. In the agents, we have CloudWatch, AWS Systems Manager, Amazon Inspector, CloudStrike, Datadog, Honeycomb IO, Rapid7, and Tenable. In DevOps tools, we have popular examples including Chef, GitLab, Jenkins, AWS CodeSuite, and Travis CI. The ecosystem truly is ready, and developers can build their open source apps on Graviton2 today with confidence. During the 2019 reInvent announcement, I blog Graviton 2 benchmarks showing M6G up to 40% faster than x86 powered M5s. As examples, I use Spec Int 2017, Spec Floating Point, Memcache D, BERT Machine Learning Inference, and EDA workloads. Leading tech analysts since then, including Moorhead and Anon Tech, have since published benchmarks validating superior performance on M6G. I was initially disappointed not to have database server results to show since that application is so important to us, but we do have them now. PostgreSQL on M6G was 46% faster and 56% better response time than on M5. MySQL comes in at 28% faster with up to 47% better response time. We've also got hundreds of customers participating during the design preview validating the price performance benefits versus comparable instance types. Honeycomb IO is a great example. They ran their Golang based application on M6G and compared it to the C5 instances they currently use. They found that M6G reduced their instant counts by 30%, at the same time reduced the cost per instance by 10%, giving them an all-in savings of 40% in just 15 hours of development work. Hotel beds. The world's leading bed bank saw 43% better price performance for their Java 11 workloads. Many other companies, including one of my personal favorites, SmugMug, are also moving to M6G at scale. AWS is proud to continue to host the broadest array of platform choices available in the industry with Intel, AMD, and Graviton servers in wide variety. The new Graviton 2 instance types offer industry-leading performance while continuing to offer the industry-leading price performance that Graviton lines become famous for. I think you'll be impressed with what the new Graviton 2 instance types can deliver, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what you do with them. A new era has begun. Thanks very much for listening.